the Hexagon Protocol, a level 5 escalation contract in Paris. You're going to kill two security guards. You can't use guns, no ballistic kills for anyone, even people who aren't the targets. You have to watch out for mines in or around the helicopter, around the area we're supposed to kill guys. And you have to leave by the speedboat. So I've chosen this AV center here because, number one, it's right next to the boat key because you need that to exit. And two, it's right next to the fireworks remote. So you're going to want to pick this up and avoid the security camera on the top left there. We'll be walking by it again. This room right here has the boat key. You'll need that right away. Now, as for the mine disarm device that you can get, it's actually in the basement security room. Um, in every other escalation that I've played, when you get the mine disarm device, it's on the uh, second floor, it's directly down from the attic. This one is just different. Uh, you could start in the basement and immediately go choke out a security guard down there and get his uniform and go out. And you'll probably do that in the earlier escalations, like one through four of this. But actually more like three and four. One just has you kill a security guard out here. Regardless, this way is, I think, a little bit faster. There's a, pick -up, there's a coin on the floor on the ground, but I already have three coins anyway. I'm using it to distract this guard. Coins are obviously great distracting devices because the guards or people who you throw on the map will always pick them up. And it gives you a chance as they're bending over where they're not aware where you can hit them over the head or, or things like that. Uh, whereas if it's just a normal item, they may look at it and be like, yeah, command, uh, nothing here. And then you got nothing. So I'm going to hide this guy. I think it, some people may look past here. I've had him where I, he was just sitting in the chair and I just hit him with something. I knocked him out and the camera lady saw it or helmet saw it. Regardless, walk through here. You're going to want your instinct mode to look out for these mines. They don't change position. They're always in the same position, but you just have to be really careful. Uh, so here, since I can't sh can't shoot anyone, I'm going to use the knife and kind of <laughs> fail at it. That, that could have been a lot tighter. And I'm going to hide his body. I'm not going to hide his gun. There's going to be a guy who, after he's done with his conversation by the shed, he's going to walk over here. He's just going to find the... Uh, gun and put it away somewhere. I don't think he would have noticed in the mission anyway, although he does kind of stand there at one of the entrances, so it's good to just get him out of the way. Now here, I'm getting close to Helmet and the photographer, because the other guy is the guy that I have to kill is standing right at the helicopter, right at the nose of the helicopter, and he's not going to move for anything. Uh, the first guy that I took out, that I got the coin and knocked out and took his uniform he is facing this man i don't i don't want him to see when i kill the target and i want to get next to helmet and his photographer here because i want to trigger the ai that has helmet answer his phone and walk away and this will cause the photographer to lose interest and sort of walk away and hopefully when i get her to turn around i'm going to use the fireworks remote and that'll make her stay in that spot and sort of look at the sky her field of view will still be forward where she's looking so if she was facing the guy that I'm going to kill, she would still see him even though she's looking up. So I want to make sure her back is turned. And then the two guards that patrol around the helicopter, I don't want them to see the, this guy I'm going to kill either. So uh, unfortunately, the timing could be a lot better. I could find a way to maybe make it so that these guys, I come into this area right when they're on the far side of the helicopter. I didn't do that. This could all be tightened up. But as it is, at the very end, I'll get a actually a really good score for me. So Helmet's already walked away. I don't really trust those guys over there, but I might have to do. And so I'm watching those two patrolling guards of the helicopter, and I'm watching her at the same time. She walked away. That's good. She's not facing him. I'm going to get this guy down. And... Now I really want to get out of the area and exit this level quickly. There will be people who come out of the mansion, out of the Paris area, to look at the balcony and look at the fireworks. So I want to exit there before their triggers, before they can get out on the ground and look around. Uh, there's also mines back here you have to watch out for. There's also mines near the boat. And another unfortunate thing is this guy is right here. He patrols back and forth. I'm going to have to take him out. Would have been cleaner if he wasn't facing here at all and I could just walk by and get on the boat. But regardless, this is the best method I've seen. I've seen other people try to trick it, throw the bomb at that one security guard and exit really quickly before anyone could see the body. But that's just so finicky and the fireworks remote is right there. It's just so much easier. So mission accomplished. Another one down. This wasn't bad overall, although 
It took me a little bit to figure out just to use a fire extremal. I don't know why. It's always been there. It's always been a tool. And you've been a tool. What you think of the fireworks? So 125, 29? It's hard to see in the editing program. Regardless, that's it. See you next time. Have a good day.